Is physical media really going extinct in 2024? Today's physical media news topic video, we're going to go over first why physical media has been decreasing over the decades, but then we're going to talk about why it's been thriving for collectors recently, and we're going to also give you a look into the future with my predictions of what's going to happen to physical media in the long run, and of course we talk about how you can support the collecting physical media watching community and truly make a difference in 2024, so let's get into this. Well, we know Best Buy is out of the physical media selling game in 2024. That is already confirmed. That's why we've been seeing massive discounts around the holidays. They were giving out their Disney 100-year 10s for under $10. Are there still books under $18? I mean, I picked up Violent Night and American Graffiti for under that sweet little price point, and I loved it. So we're probably going to see more rounds of massive discounts into the new years as they try to purge the last of their physical media. And then all Best Buy will be known for is washer and dryers. Yes, a very sad little story there. But let's get into some other locations. Does it get better from there? Well, not if we go over to Target. We know Target has been shrinking their aisles of physical media. They have way more books than physical media. They probably even have more vinyl records than physical uh, movies at this point. You know, records will still count that as physical media, but on the movie side of things, we're not seeing many movies there. They might have a half an aisle with some of the new releases, maybe a few copies of each. But yeah, it's not a wonderful physical media hunting experience if you've been into a Target as of recent. So we know the majority of people out there are not picking up on physical media. It's not like the good old days where people would go to a grocery store, they'd pick up their vegetables, and then grab a DVD for a nice night with their family, watching it at home, and having a great time. No, it is no longer that. People don't pick up physical media like that anymore. The mass market is really into the streaming platforms. There's dozens and dozens of streaming platforms out there, and people gravitate to the streaming platforms platforms because a lot of people are lazy let's let's be real about this they want the most convenient cheapest option they can find they don't really care about the selection as much they don't really care about the quality we know we know if you love quality physical media is the way to go at home but some people just don't care about that they don't want to spend the time picking up a disc putting it in a player they just want to go to whatever streaming app they can find and just pick whatever comes up whether it's great or most of the times pretty awful. They just want convenience no matter what. That is the very, very sad fact out there for the majority of people. But we still have a collector's market to talk about. They're still thriving in physical media for this niche market we have. So let's get into all the reasons why I can see physical media really bumping up in 2024. So getting into the positives here, and we can see some amazingness coming out to collectors here in this new year because we do have some places that are stepping up. Even though Best Buy is out, we got Walmart picking up the slack. It looks like they're getting all these new still books with Silent Night, Wonka, Aquaman, and the Lost Kingdom. So I think Walmart is going to replace Best Buy, at least on the physical media collecting side of things. So I'm happy they have definitely some potential there to really expand their uh, locations with aisles and amazing moviness and really step up their game in 2024. So I want to see what Walmart's going to deliver. Maybe they can fix up their site a little bit and just make it a better overall shopping experience. But Walmart definitely can become the new king of physical media here. Now, in terms of other stuff we get to look forward to, of course, the boutique labels always do a wonderful job. They cater to the collectors. They do amazing, wonderful artwork and packaging. I mean, we're getting that awesome seven box set coming out. What's in the box? You guys seen those cool limited exclusive editions out there? Yeah, you might need to import some of them and all that good stuff. But there's cool new releases that have been announced for this year. That is awesome to look forward to. We got other studios stepping up. Lionsgate always delivering great value at their price point. They're expanding their Vestron video line with their still books, right? We got little monsters coming out to a still book and also other little selections as well. So I think some of these companies are really, really stepping up. I mean, come on, we got that Kino Lorber releasing 
a title every single week. They always got so many titles. I don't know how they get all these licenses and where they find the time, but they are pumping out those titles constantly. Also, into this new year, we've already seen the preview of what they got coming, and it looks awesome for fans of those kinds of genres. So, a lot of these boutique labels, a lot of these studios are stepping up. Of course, not every company, but there's definitely enough there to fuel the collector market because we know there's always going to be a collector market that absolutely loves collecting physical media. And so, they're going to cater to that rather than the mass market of the majority of people out there. And I think that is totally fine. We're we're still going to get what we need, and that is going to be awesome. And I really look forward to this new year because I think there's such wonderful, wonderful stuff coming out from the creative standpoint. Now to look into the future of my predictions of what's going to happen in the next few years to physical media. And yes, I still think physical media is going to be alive and well. We're just going to be picking up physical media in different forms, different places. Yes, they're not going to be at all these stores. We're probably going to only have a couple stores to go to. We'll have Walmart for the majority of titles. Like I said, Walmart can do a great job stepping up this year and really prove something to us collectors. But then we'll also have Barnes & Nobles that I think will still hold on to Criterion for quite some time. So those are going to be always fun places to do some movie hunting. And then we got, of course, the online places just kind of as backup that we can pick up. You know, get that prime shipping off of Amazon or to the boutique labels directly themselves because I think they're going to continue to do really well by the collectors. They're going to actually get into all that good qualityness that we want. They're going to release titles we want. I mean, come on, they did a great job last year giving us like amazing box sets. I mean, come on, Arrow with the Empire Screams box set was fantastic. When else would we see those titles come out never i'm so glad a boutique label released them robot jocks dolls such a fun time we got the superman still book box set we got the tox box come on those trauma films that is absolutely wonderful so i think we're gonna get more amazing box sets in the next coming years i think there's gonna be really great titles that get released and these boutique labels are gonna find those titles that maybe would never see the sight of day under normal circumstances but are gonna release that for the collecting niche market and I think that's absolutely wonderful and I think that this collecting market can definitely be fueled and maybe even make a little bit of a comeback or grow a little bit or have a renaissance period with people out there championing physical media and like we saw with Christopher Nolan championing Oppenheimer that was absolutely amazing he told people of the evils of streaming out there and guess what happened Oppenheimer sold out the first week on physical media and they had to make more if we can get more of kind of those uh celebrity types that are in filmmaking to really endorse their movies directors actors I think we can even see, like I said, a renaissance period for physical media collecting. Now, it will never go back to the way it was, and that's okay. But if we can expand the collecting market just maybe a little bit and keep it strong and just really keep tailoring to the collectors out there, I think we're going to have a great another decade, maybe another couple decades out there, because we know physical media is going to last a lot longer than digital and streaming, at least in terms of the movie titles themselves. No one's going to come in and take your physical media away. It's going to be on the shelf, and that is awesome. We can't say the same thing about streaming and digital. We see things popping off of platforms, titles disappearing, studios burying their titles for some reason. That is outrageous. So with that happening, we know collecting is going to stick around. Now to get into what you can do in 2024 to really support this collecting community. And the first thing, of course, is clicking that subscribe and like button. And of course, supporting all the other BlueTuber channels out there that produce this amazing content for you all. Because we really are doing our best to support physical media. If you show that you are interested in this type of content, studios and boutique labels do take notice. They see what you guys want out there. If you leave in the comments, hey, what titles do you want to see in 2024? They often take notice, and who knows, maybe they'll do an awesome release for one of your favorite movies. So definitely kind of just spread the good word. Spread the good word on movies and physical media and collecting and continue to be a movie fan. But most importantly, voting with that dollar as a movie fan to show that, hey, you're willing to buy 
great quality products. I'm not saying just go buy garbage out there because then they'll just make more garbage. But if they release an amazing physical media title and you love that movie, you should go support it and definitely just enjoy it. Be a film fan. Have a good time collecting, of course. Leave what you still love about physical media collecting in 2024. And if you enjoy this topic, mega click the next video right now. And thank you so much, my mega membership supporters.